Hey there folks, uh, I don't have a new knife for you, but I do have my redemption from uh, Ramon Chavez, um, number three. Um, if you guys watch my other videos in the past, there's Ramon's logo. You guys know that my uh, redemption originally um, was like this um, bead blasted finish with a polish uh, gold clip. Uh, when I ordered it, when I ordered it from Ramon initially, I was, you know, of course, I'm thinking as a collector. So um, I wanted something kind of fancy. So I ordered the gold polished clip, uh, rock pattern backspacer, also polished. And of course, when you have friends like uh, Brian, Fast Bandit, <laughs> it gets, uh, a little scratched up. I don't entirely blame it on Brian, of course. It, it happened just uh, just carrying it, um, you know, and just said bumping into things. It was just prone to scratching. So uh, out of the blue, around February sometime, uh, Ramon reaches out to me. Um, I think it was, actually it was on my birthday. He reached out to me and he goes, hey dude, if you want me to, uh, you know, do another finish on your knife, just send it over. And I'm like, yeah, really? <laughs> so um, I saw that the other wieners, um, I think Lee and Brian got the the orange peel. So I really like the texture. I want to show you guys the texture of the orange peel. Because it seemed a little less prone to scratching and a little more durable. So I asked Ramon if he could orange peel it. Uh, I want him to orange peel the handle, he orange peel, I don't know if you guys can see it, but he also orange peeled the back spacer, and then he also orange peeled the skull clip. You can see the little texture there, hopefully. But it looks awesome. Ramon actually also changed the screws. He put new screws. This one's a little, uh, I think these screws are blasted where the original screws were polished to match the clip. So uh, he replaced all the hardware. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if these are the original pivots. I should have asked Ramon. He, he may well have replaced it because it feels like um, my, like when I first got it. Uh, as you guys know, the it does have a breaking in period, the redemption, similar to Dalibor's knives. Um, and I just got this yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, I just got it yesterday, so I haven't got a chance to like uh, play with it yet, flick it. So uh, get a shot of the lockup. Right. So, yeah. So. Um, so what I asked Ramon was to do uh, what you see here, basically, to orange peel the clip and the handle. Actually, I didn't even ask to orange peel the backspacer, but you know he does a complete job, so he did that too. And then to uh, electro Anna with gold. I like I said keep the gold. Could you do a blue on the handle because I like this color combination before, and I had my Butch Ball Scorpion Flipper which Butch did for me, and he did the same thing, which is gold and blue. Uh, Butch's blue, I don't know if you guys can tell, is a little more purple and with the gold clip. I like the way this looked, so I, I asked Ramon to do the same thing. So we basically did the same combination, and it looks excellent. Excellent. So Ramon removed the scratches, and now it should be... Uh, less uh, prone to scratching I'm sure the boys will put it to the test so if you guys haven't seen this uh, redemption before let me just do some macros on the blade actually Ramon if you guys are coming up on your orders some guys have been requesting it without the swedge a longer swedge um, it actually looked pretty badass without the swedge uh, so that gives it a totally different look I mean the the stock of the the steel is thick as it is, so I've been looking at the pictures. Some people have been giving, getting uh, no sweat and look pretty badass. So what do you guys think? You guys feeling the blue? It's not for everybody, but I dig it. 
me see if I can uh, put some Windex on it, bring out the colors. Bring out a little bit more of the colors, because it definitely pops a little more with the Windex. Let's see. So it looks pretty cool. Um, and you know what? He got this, like, even... The anno is perfect. It's like a really nice... I don't know how to describe it. Like a, it looks like a sky blue. Very even, though. And the clip, too. So it really brings out the clip. Nice uh, gold clip. Yeah, so... Um, I think Ramon said this is the first one that he did the uh, orange peel with, with the anno. So, not... I mean, come on. First time, that's not bad. <laughs> So for you guys that are, you have your orders upcoming, you can request this uh, orange peel with the whatever anodizing. I'm sure Ramon can pretty much get any color. I've seen green, you know, the blue, the gold, this gold, you know, whatever colors he can reach. Purple, if you're so inclined. But uh, just a quick vid just to do an update on this Ramon Chavez. Uh, redemption so uh, and if you guys didn't sign up for Ramon's uh, uh, newsletter you really should because uh, yeah as you guys know as we talked about Weiners and Steel he's a full-time uh, knife maker now so there may be opportunities where well he might open the books up again because he now that he's doing it full-time he may be able to accommodate more and fit make uh, you know complete his orders quicker um, so, be on the lookout for that. On a side note, since I have the ball flipper, scorpion flipper, um, Menevade actually adjusted my detent. Uh, he noticed that the detent ball was actually flat on this, um, on the lock bar. So he adjusted it and... Let's see if it fires out nice. Yeah, it fires out way better. What he did was, he said he was going to replace the detent ball. But what Nick did instead, if you can see in there, hopefully that, is, he flipped it over. He removed the detent ball, flipped it over on the more rounded side. So now, fires out a little better. I mean, it wasn't a great flipper to begin with. It is on bearings, but um, yeah, it's hard to do it with, you know, on, and with the stand in the way. But of course, it's making me a liar. <laughs> but it fires out with a little uh, touch from Menavade, so that made it happy. This is a small flipper. Just do a comparison shot. So I don't even have the viewfinder close enough to accommodate the. Uh, Redemption, but um, yeah, all right. So, just want to show you guys that, yeah, it definitely feels like the redemption needs to be broken in again. He must have replaced the washers, yeah, he must have definitely replaced the washers because uh, it needs a break in period again. All right, guys, peace.